Hello everyone, welcome to the Upline Node.js and React course. My name is Hui, I'm from the Best Coder team, and in this video, I'll show you the overall content of this course and why you should take this course to improve your development skills. This is a practical course. The course is structured around building a real software product. At the end of this course, you'll be able to build an e-commerce application that has many features such as login, product listing, crowd and checkout. In order to build this application, there are two foundations that you need to learn. The first foundation is the technology, specifically Node.js and React. These frameworks are very popular today. They are used by many companies, they are also easy to begin with. If you know how to use these frameworks, it would be easy for you to learn a job. Beside Node and React, we also need to work with some R technology like MySQL, Tailwind, Heroku. Don't worry if you don't know these tools, we'll cover them in details. The second foundation is the crafting process. Basically, what are the steps to implement such an application? How do we start with the business requirements? How we design the overall system? How do we implement the details of the system? So, we try to bring the process that we use in our company daily to this course. So, our goal in this course is after you learn the technologies and the crafting process. When you look at uh, some software products today on the internet, you're able to know how it works internally and you know how to review it again from scratch. I'll do more a part of this course in the next few slides. So, we will design the architecture of ap application. This is three layer design, very common nowadays. It contains a database, a backend, and a front end. So, for each layer, you need to build a few things. So, in the database, we need to design the tables and the relationship between them. In the backend, some few modules like models, controllers, API. In the storefront, some module like React components, the Redux store, and some services. So, as I said before, this is a practical course. So, let's apply the design on the real feature. So, the feature that I want to implement here is the product listing. Um, it has some products over there with some filter on the sidebar or also on the top bar here. So, how do we implement this product? Uh, features. We definitely need a product table to store the product uh, information in the database. Then in the back end, we need to have a product model to communicate with this table over there. Then we have a product controller and a set of APIs so the front end can send the request to the back end. Then we have a special service here for searching to handle complicated searching logic like uh, search by rating, search by years, by price. And in the front end, we need to build some product React components like product list, product card. And we need to have a service to communicate with the backend to like to send to ask the backend to send the product list, the association request to the front end. So this is the overall design for the product listing feature. And in the course, I'll show you how do we actually code each module for the design. So this is our very first crux from best coders. We want to make it as uh, accessible as possible. So the first five lessons are free. Feel free to watch them and decide if the crux is for you or not. Uh, we also offer refund in case of you not happy after you purchase the course. And that's all from my side for this video. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. And I hope to see you in the course.